Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and welcome back to another video and this is Felix. Uh, so today before we start, please press the like button, it helps the channel out greatly. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and su subscribe and join the investing gang. Uh, so this is something I've been contemplating for a while. I have been investing in the stock market for about 7 months now, which is a very very short amount of time in the market. I had a little bit of knowledge about investing due to my work retirement, but I still have a lot to learn. In this short amount of time, I had learned a lot. I started out with day trading penny stocks to swing trading blue chip stocks. And now I became a long term dividend investor. Which means I'll be buying stocks and pretty much holding them forever. I've been buying individual stocks up until now, but I'm planning on slowly transitioning my entire portfolio into an ETF heavy portfolio. So I will not sell the current stocks I have just to keep them and average down if need be. But I'll be buying more into VYM for my TD Ameritrade account and possibly SCHD for my TD Ameritrade account. Uh, currently my M1 Finance account holds a VOO and that will not change all that much. Uh, this also means that I will no longer be doing the Robinhood Growth Stock Investing Challenge but it will be changing into the M1 Finance Challenge where I'll be buying more into a VOO. Uh, the details of the challenge will come next week, but for now my plan is to buy $200 worth of VOO each, each week. I think the videos are going to be too short for my TD Ameritrade on my uh, M1 Finance Challenge, so I just might group them together and do a video on Wednesday. I'll give you guys an update on next Tuesday about that. Uh, so as you can see on my Robinhood, I currently have 2.4 shares of Tesla and 12.38 shares of Workhorse. I'm going to keep them for now. And I might buy more into them, but for now, I'm just going to leave this guy alone and go from there. So yeah, like I mentioned, I might buy more into Tesla and Workhorse, but I'm not going to be consistent with it. And I'm just going to be buying it if it dips a lot and if I still believe in the company. So the reason for this change is that I'm a huge proponent for if you can't beat the market, join the market. And after I read the uh, little book of Common Sense Investing... It pushed me to change my investing strategy. I did not know about this when I first started investing earlier this year. And if I invested all my money into VOO or VTI, my account would be a little bit bigger. I have been advising my friends to not buy individual stocks, but invest into ETFs or index funds. And to do as I preach, I will be making the transition into buying more ETFs rather than individual stocks. Here's a quick look into my M1 Finance account. And as you can see, I have about $4,300. I'm holding in 13.64 shares. And my plan is to keep on adding more each week. And yeah, pretty much uh, self-explanatory on the challenge on this guy. So I apologize that I'm changing my Robin to challenge even before I started. But after months of contemplating and figuring out a plan, the timeline just ended up being today. I will be uploading my regular investing videos on Mondays and Fridays, M1 Finance Challenge videos on Tuesdays, and $100,000 Dividend Portfolio Challenges updates on Wednesday. Uh, don't forget to sign up to Yada using the referral below to receive an extra 100 tickets for the week. And also don't forget to sign up to Robinhood using the link on the description and receive one free stock. And also Webull, if you sign up and deposit $100, you can get a stock value up to $1,600. I'm sorry for my hoarse voice. I've been uh, instructing all day with the mask on and it's loud. And I constantly have to scream all day for, you know, six plus hours. So my voice is kind of gone. But thank you all for watching my video. And if you enjoyed it, please press like and subscribe. I will see you all tomorrow on Wednesday. Have a nice day.